Yo, what's good guys? Today I, I will give you a little description on how my gameplay was going. So, yeah. I princess at the bridge, get a little bit of chip damage. I get two shots from the princess. Firecracker's gonna get one shot because of the Dagger Duchess nerf, sadly. But it's still the best uh, tower troop. So to this day, he plays. He has a little prince. Little prince has a bad nerf. Uh, my knight's going up there. Decided to play the uh, the new goblin car down. Goblin demolisher down, which is so OP. Like watch, watch him bro. He gets pulled. He runs towards him and deaths the enemies, all of them, bro. <laughs> he had to use two elixir and skeletons to defend that, and I still got a hit from it. He places a royal giant down. Good thing I didn't place that infernal tower down and place those goblins, because then he probably would have gotten more damage from that. It's not looking too good for me at the moment, though. But I do get a whole bunch of damage off the tower. He's got a force ability. The force is ability. Bad, the good news is he hasn't been really focusing on the other side. So, like, he didn't know that I was trying to finesse him when she won't know that i'm gonna finesse them when i get goblin barrel obviously the evolution is so good when when they're like freaking out and stuff push out the back i get a, no hits off there sadly but bombs explodes on the fisherman fisherman goes other lane and he knows he doesn't want that fisherman to go other lane i misplaced my goblin gang could have activated king tower which been a whole lot easier okay he plays a uh, rg at the bridge and the little prince and the electro then he zaps me and i thought i was dead until i had a counter push which was awesome with these recruits force ability he wants to get that tower but he doesn't know i have a evo goblin barrel in cycle now decide to just keep going with my push right now princess it doesn't look too great because i don't have an opening for the goblin barrel but then I put Goblin Gang, and I put, I'm thinking about putting Goblin Barrel. Waiting, I'm waiting for a little bit. I realized, 20 seconds. Then, RG, I realized he committed to too much elixir. So once I defeated the RG, I am going to put Goblin Barrel to the right side, which takes tower. Look at that, boom. That takes tower, and then I take the left side tower right at the last second before before the sudden death like here 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 like insane that ins that instant replay was so good so if i go all the way over here see you see that he over committed he doesn't have any defensive cards watch see goblin barrels right there boom Okay, let me go back. Yeah, so that I have a good push going. Boom. Let's go to RG at the bridge, I'm pretty sure. This is way before. Okay, yeah. He RG's in a pocket. He gets his fisherman out. My goblin demolisher doing some great damage. He's trying to defend. That little prince couldn't get his ability done. The RG couldn't get an, any damage. That fisherman is going down. Boom. Then, the perfect goblin barrel on the right side. He, he tries to defend that side with fisherman because he thinks that I was going to go after that tower. Then, I freaking finesse this dude. Takes an entire tower. Then, right before sudden death. Two minutes. The time hasn't even gone. Right there, last shot by Princess and Demolisher. Boom, tower gone. Oh my goodness. That insane. So insane. I'm very impressed with my gameplay. Very impressed with this dude. This dude, very impressed with him. He, he had good gameplay. He, he and I were both in the uh, same arena together. But yeah, best season grand champion, present season champion. Yeah, this guy, not too bad, man. It's his main deck too. So... The only downfall in that deck that he was playing is Firecracker. And Firecracker is a good deck. So, probably be best deck if you, uh... Probably use this one right here. 
But yeah, other than that, yeah, impressive gameplay by me. So kudos on them. But yeah, see you in the next one. Bye bye.